Hi, I'm Jake Busey. Don't miss the Red Booth. Hi, welcome to the Red Booth Show. I'm your host, Kimberly Q. On tonight's episode, I have actor Jake Busey. He has been in Ray Donovan recently, and he also has a new movie called The Predator coming out, plus much more. So come and join us. So hey, Jake, how's it going? Excellent, thanks. Thanks, thank thanks for having me here. <laughs> Definitely, thank you very much for coming today. This is really exciting, because I know you have some new shows that are you know, coming out, and a lot of things are happening in your life. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm busier than I've ever been, so uh, uh, I'm I'm pretty exhausted. It's uh it's the morning right now, and I'm uh, <laughs> I I feel like I haven't slept. I've been working on two different shows at the same time, which is kind of tough because you're getting the new scripts from each episode from each week, but then they're also constantly wanting to make the script better, so they have revisions that are constantly being hit. So I've got the assistant directors, the second ads firing off emails, and I'm getting revisions for 05, 06, 07, and then episode 05, 06, 07 on this show, and then it's just adding up, and my, I can't even keep up with the emails, so I finally had to call them and say, stop sending me all the revisions, just, you know, night before we shoot. Let me, me know what it is. And let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> now, why don't you tell everybody what these new shows are that you're working on? Well, uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. I'm... Um, I, I didn't realize it, but now I'm kind of an old guy. <laughs> so I'm doing this show with the kids. Uh, it's called Freakish. Uh, it's a Hulu show where it's season two. So you can binge watch season one. Okay, uh, check that out on Hulu. And it's uh, it's basically it's Walking Dead, The Breakfast Club, and Toxic Avenger. Toxic Avenger? Yeah. Okay. It's the small town, the chemical plant explodes. And the kids are in detention on a Saturday, and the poison gas fills the air. It turns a bunch of people into freaks, hence the name freakish. Nice. Can't call them zombies. Mm. Uh, but they move really fast because, as it turns out, the chemical plant was doing experiments to make super soldiers. Oh. So now these zombies are like hyper quick, hyper fast, hyper strong, and uh, and the kids are trying to figure out how to survive in this high school. And uh, if you saw The Walking Dead, you see how like the, the the format of it is, where you've got your core group, and as they move along, new little groups sort of come along the way. This one, they've been in the school the whole time, and then now I'm this older guy who has uh, a couple of teenagers with them and then I, that are under my wing and I'm, I'm kind of, we're, we're trying to find our own way and, and survive. Uh, and then we find that there's a school and, uh, and we can take shelter there and not have to wear the gas masks all the time. So there's that. And then I'm working on Ray Donovan, which is the big Showtime thing, which is behind the scenes Hollywood with Ev Shriver and John Voight. So wow. it's, uh, and I play like a total meth head crack freak <laughs> fanatic named Acid Man on that one. <laughs> And um, that must not be a lot of fun. <laughs> I was running around with a Desert Eagle 357, and then like these little crazy ponytails in my hair, and all freaked out, and I'm like covered in grease and dirt. They and, like make you look all and, messed up, huh? Yeah, and then like my whole front, I'm, I was just wearing tidy whities and combat boots, and my whole <laughs> front was all just scars and burn, like it's like a big acid burn, so I'm acid man. Wow. So, uh, and, and then one is shooting nights, and one is shooting days. So Monday morning I start at 6 a.m., but then on Wednesday I'll be shooting all night on the other show. And well, at least um, you know, hopefully you're not shooting on the same day, like in the morning and then in the night. That'd oh, be, yeah. Oh, my God. That'd be rough. That'd be rough. So That's a good problem to have, though. It is. You're like, I have too many TV shows that I'm shooting right now. It is a good problem. In fact, there was going to be a third, and they said no because the schedule conflicted. And I was like, oh, man, I could have had three on at once. I know. That's right. When I called you, you were like, oh, yeah, I have three TV shows that I'm looking at right now. And yeah. I was like, whoa, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, but it might have been too much um, now that I'm realizing, but um, anyway, it's good to be busy, good to be here. This is cool, and this is just some of the stuff that he's working on, um, including there's a predator kind of thing too, right? Mm, there is, there is a predator kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah the, uh, a, a sequel to uh, the original first couple from way back when. 
That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna have to take a quick break, but we are gonna be right back with Jake Busey and you can hear about more about Predator. All right. I really wanted to put a deck on my house. The floor was creaking and there were cracks in the wall. I had them put in walls in my basement. Well, the whole thing was done on time, on budget, and not a day of work was missed. Alpha Structural is a top-rate company. I'd recommend them to anybody. If you live in a hillside home and gravity is pulling you towards the edge of the cliff, I recommend you call Alpha. It was a real pleasure to work with Alpha. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Welcome back to the Red Booth Show. We are here with the amazing Jake Busey. <laughs> amazing. Wow. <laughs> well, you've been doing movies. You, you've done so many cool things. Um, I mean, there's... There, I've had people writing to me when they knew you were going to be on the show. Like, one of like, the most scariest thing I've ever seen was when he was in The Frighteners. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah, right? Yeah, bringing it way back. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. And Stormship Troopers. Right, right. I yeah. mean... Yeah, that was a big one. Starship Troopers was a long shoot. That was uh, the better part of an entire year to film that one. Well, so. it's really hard to get the bugs to do what they're told. That's yeah. what I heard. Getting them to, to follow direction and corral them. You know, they just want to eat you. It's tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were, we were netting and we had net guns. You know, you'd shoot it and the net would capture them. And... You have to have those animal wranglers. Yeah, yeah, the bug wranglers. And they were some weird dudes. Yeah. <laughs> You're around all that deet and all that raid all the time and whew, you get a little strange. <laughs> that's why, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, well, exactly. And and I mean, you obviously have this new Predator movie that's coming up, or Predator show. Well, yeah, basically it is, uh, there've been a lot of Predator films. So there was the original Predator. Which was amazing. Which was an amazing film. Yeah. Schwarzenegger back in the day in the 80s when he was doing his thing. And then a couple years later they did Predator 2 and um, he went off to do, I believe, Terminator 2 and wasn't available so they did Predator 2 with Danny Glover and my dad. So this film even though they went on and later on they did like Predator vs. Alien and yeah. uh, the Predators and did some different things. This, what we just did is now kind of reinserting itself back into the original narrative of the first two. So this would I think technically be Predator 3. So like before the Predator vs. Alien stuff starts happening. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I, I'm not sure exactly, I haven't spoken to him exactly, but Shane Black has... Uh, he, he wrote it and he directed it. He's the guy that did the Iron Man stuff. He wrote directed Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Amazing. Nice guys. Um, yeah, and Shane was the guy that wrote Lethal Weapon. My dad was in that. So I've Such known, a good movie. Yeah, so I've known Shane for a long time in other uh, capacities, but to work with him and to be in the Predator thing was great. Well, yeah, and plus there's like your little family heritage there going on, so that's yeah. even cooler. Yeah, it was great. It was it was awesome that way. So he called me and he said, "Hey, do you want to do this movie? We don't have money for you, but it'll be a fun thing to come play and be your father's son." And so, as much as I have followed in my dad's footsteps with career-wise, this is like really following in his footsteps by playing a character's son that he played so yeah it's uh, and I don't think there would be any other forum <clears throat> where I would do that I think this is the one it's so perfect thing yeah yeah um, did you already shoot these scenes or are we still... we did we okay. shot the film it's a huge 20th Century Fox film cool. uh, we shot it up in Van Vancouver I almost said Ventura <laughs> I used to live in Ventura um, no, we shot it up in Vancouver, and uh, they were there doing it for about three, four months, and I was only there for three weeks. So uh, I play a scientist in the film, and uh, it, it's it's it's. I'm very excited about it. I think it's going to be great. Um, I can't wait. So. When do you know? Do you know when it's going to be coming out? Or February 9th, two thousand eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So set your clock. That's right. It's, it's only. 10 months away or whatever it is, you know. Well, you know, they're doing all the, they're still probably in post-production on it and everything, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they will be. There, there's, there'll be a lot of post-production. It'll be a, a mad scramble to get it out by 
February, yeah. Well, this is going to be amazing. I mean, obviously, with him directing the movie, it's it sounds like it's a really good script, too. So Yeah, yeah. Him That's and cool. Fred Decker, they, they're the top writers in Hollywood. Like, period. The, the top guys. I was sitting there on the set, and I was really realizing, wow, this is like... These guys are like Selznick. Like, they're, they're like David Lean. These guys are like... They're... they're uh, the top dogs and I was looking at him just thinking wow this is kind of like being around in the 40s and 50s when you had Cecil B. DeMille making movies like this is this, the good is, stuff. this is it this is the good and stuff. it was really I felt very fortunate and very thankful to be there you know uh, that was something so else. cool well yeah. also I mean I'm a huge fan <clears throat> of the original Predator like I remember watching it as a kid and just being totally like Everybody, of course, loved yeah. this movie, so it's so cool that they're bringing it back to that that storyline. Yeah. Instead of all the you know predator alien stuff, which is which is cool and stuff, but I really love the original storyline. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And this movie, when you see it, I can't give too much away legally, but uh, if you liked, I guess I can say this: if you liked the very first movie a lot, you'll really which like, I did definitely. you'll like this one. Awesome. This one has a lot of. Uh, essence of of the first movie, so I always wanted to see the Predator fire up a big blunt and you know <laughs> smoke a big blunt because like he's, he's like got Rasta, the, like, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but well, but like a Rasta that was under the ocean too long. He's got the crab face, you know. <laughs> but uh, sorry to cut you off. What are you gonna say? No, it's there? okay. Actually, we just have to take another break. Ah. Um, so come on back to the show with Jake Busey. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi. Hoping for a crisp breeze to help keep you alert. Oh, oh, he took a sip of water too. That'll probably help. You were probably gonna turn down the radio too, so you could focus, right? Probably okay isn't okay. Right? If you see a warning sign, stop and call it. a cab, a car, it. or a friend. I think the water line is what really drove it home. I blew on him. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show. We're here with actor Jake Busey. Yeah. Yeah, this is exciting. I, I, I think it's so cool you have so many shows going on now and new projects. And, you know, obviously Thanks. you've been in a ton of movies that we've seen. So many of the audience are going to know who you are and, like, have seen you for many years. You know? I hope. Yeah. I, that, <laughs> you know, that would be cool. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sort of like the... the uh, I don't know. I'm like the below the radar guy. Uh, every now and then, someone will say, "Hey, I saw you in a movie." But... No way. Are you serious? Yeah, I would think yeah. people would definitely like know you like very well. Occasionally, like I did an episode of Justified a couple of years back, and then like, oh, I cool couldn't. Show. I could, yeah, right. That was yeah. a great show. And um, for a Were couple you playing of weeks, a bad guy because you tend to kind of play a bad guy. I was playing a crazy guy. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was playing a, an explosive expert. Okay. And I blew myself up within the first 30 seconds. Nice. And, um, but so that was a short scene then. <laughs> it was very short, but what was crazy is for two weeks, everywhere I went, people w would stop me. The hardware store, the gas station, the supermarket, everywhere. Like, oh man, I just saw you on Justified. You just blew up, I saw it. Yeah, and so that was what let me know like what it was really like to be a celebrity. Because, I mean, I, I was on this show from dusk till dawn which yeah. is uh on the el rey network i love is, the el rey network it's so yeah cool. and and you know for those underground folks you know it's uh it's a really cool gritty uh grindhouse show network you know oh uh, yes and they have all those and, old kung fu movies i love it i seriously yeah. do watch that network like wow. yeah they they have a lot of good stuff but not a lot of people watch it so robert I, rodriguez yeah and i did that show for three years um and so that was a continuation of the movie, yeah. right? From Dust Till Dawn. And so now, what did you play in that show? I played Sex Machine. <laughs> oh my yeah. god! Doctor Aiden Tanner, yeah, professor of archaeology. Nice. So uh, Robert is a big fan of some of the classic '80s films. Uh, one of them being Raiders of the Lost Ark. He's, oh, yes. he's got the poster in his office on the wall. And so my character they was They just don't this... make them like that anymore. No, they don't. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> um, it's all green screen. This new Predator movie, though, the cool thing about it is they do, like, they. it is all real sets and real things. You're not, it's not just on a green screen. So it's going to be great in that way. That's but, so cool. uh, but yeah, so my character, Sex Machine, was a. Uh, like a you know sexually perverted uh, 
archaeologists who loved to th th explore the Mayan mythology and, and, and that type of thing. So nice. that show was cool. And I, I, I got to work with Danny Trejo on that show. He's so cool. He's amazing. And he's an old friend of my dad's. And they'd done a few movies together. Um, so then in, um, in this last fall, I did a movie with Danny. And it was just basically Danny and me squaring off head to head. He's a good guy. And, and you're it, the bad guy? Yeah. It's Man, a, see? It's an old west zombie movie. Oh, that's right. You were talking about this. Now, what's the name of this movie? It's called Dead Again in Tombstone. Nice. Yeah. So, so it's like uh, cowboy zombies. It is. It is. Okay. It is. I'm a, a Civil War Confederate colonel mm -hmm. who refuses to acknowledge that the war has been declared over and still thinks the Civil War is still going in his own mind. <laughs> And I'm after the Book of the Dead. Okay. Because if I can find the Book of the Dead, then I can resurrect my fallen soldiers that I've got uh, on horse-drawn trailers and caskets. Oh, wow. And are you dead? Like, are you a zombie or you're alive? No, I'm, I'm, I'm alive, but I want to get this Book of the Dead and then unleash the power of, of Satan and then we become this demigod of, of, of evility. Uh, so resurrecting I'm, the army. Yeah, yeah, resurrecting the army. Yeah. And, uh, Good idea. I mean, that makes sense to me. Of course. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> you know? So uh, um, it's a universal movie, and, and Danny plays a guy who, uh, who was formerly a bad guy, and he's, he sold his soul to the devil, but then now he's trying to be a good guy. Um, and it, as it turns out, his family... Uh, is are they are the keepers and the protectors of this book, so they're trying to keep it away from anyone like me. Nice. Henceforth, Danny and I are battling Sounds head to head. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah. where when can we see this? Maybe? I think it should be out coming up in the next couple months. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and no longer are things just like yeah look go to the movie theater. It's like. You can find it streaming on, yeah, on whatever, Apple Hulu, TV Netflix, or whatever. Apple TV, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, somewhere. Find it. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. And it's dead yeah. again in Tombstone. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. We'll have to take another quick break. Taking a break. And we'll be right back with Jake right. Busey. Okay, so we drowned the fire. Yep. Stirred it. Mm -hmm. Drowned it again. Mm -hmm. And now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. And welcome back to the Red Booth Show, everybody. We're here with actor Jake Busey. Yeah. How's it going? It's going good. I just got a tweet on my, my phone here. Nice. Um, I got a tweet from a guy named Robert J. O'Neill, and he, do you know who he is? Uh, it sounds very familiar. Navy SEAL. Okay. Uh, Baghdad, or one of those, I can't remember, don't quote me right now. Um, he uh, was the leader okay, cool. of a small group that took down a certain somebody. Oh, dang, dang, uh, oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, he knows the truth. A certain... A summer being <laughs> something or other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he and I have become Twitter friends because someone said, if anyone ever made a movie about you, who would you want to play you? And he said, Jake Busey. Nice. Right? Yeah. So now he's like tweeting me like, I'm going to be in town pretty soon. I'm like, well, shit, come out and visit. Um, Sounds like a good plan. You guys can make yeah. the new Navy SEAL movie and then you'll have to right. do Navy SEAL training, which... Yeah. Right? Wow. Yeah, I had to, <laughs> to bulk up. Um, yeah, it'll be uh, completely different from some of the other stuff I've done. I've, we, I got a movie that's going to be coming out soon. It just got finished. We're trying to sell it. It's an independent film. It's called Dead Ant. Okay. And uh, directed by a friend of mine now. We've become friends. His name is Ron Carlson. And uh, Dead Ant is the story of some glam rockers from the 80s. Okay. And and they were kind of a one-hit wonder. So the Dead End is the band. No. 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 Okay. Sonic Grave. 
Sonic Gray. Yeah, yeah, Sonic Gray, which <laughs> has its own irony to it, right? But so they were a one-hit band, and then and then they were they were dead uh, in the water, so to speak, in the music world. Um, and they decide they're going to make a comeback at Coachella, and they do a road trip out there in their old pickup truck with their old Airstream, and they're going to go play at Coachella and get all the, the new young generation to get into glam metal. <laughs> and uh, Tom Arnold is our uh, band manager. Oh my God. And we got Reese Coiro. Um, Do you have like a huge wig, like ma major hair? Going no, I, it was, they just put some, a little bit of extensions in my own hair. So I just have like long blonde hair. Nice. <laughs> and I kind of look like a kind of a weird version of, of uh, Brett Michaels and Sebastian Bach. And, and all <laughs> That's that. awesome. Uh, and those guys are great, you know, but uh, it was, we were sort of doing a genre stereotype thing, but, um, yeah, so, so on the way to Coachella, we have a peyote ceremony, and Sean oh, Astin, for The Hobbit, uh, he takes too much and drinks too much beer, and, and the big Indian chief said, listen, you can't harm any living things while you're having this peyote experience. And you gotta all do it once at the Sacred Rock at sunset. Of course, he ignores all this and uh, takes his early, uh, and still driving on the road. They get there and he has to pee and then he like kills this ant. Well, the ant comes back and with a bunch of friends and he's bigger. And then somebody kills one and they come back and they're bigger. And the, big, and the next thing you know, we've got ants the size of Volkswagens chasing us. Oh my so God. It's like Spinal Tap meets Starship Troopers. It's crazy. Oh my God, it sounds like a bad trip. Really it, bad Oh trip. yeah, yeah, but it's a funny movie. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And so. that will be out, or is it out now? We are getting it, we're, you know, we're submitting, we just submitted it to the Toronto Film Festival. Oh cool. We're trying to do some- Festival the, route. Some, yeah, 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 and nice. get some, we've got someone that wants to buy it right now and distribute it, but I don't know if it's like really the, the biggest, best possibility, so, mm. you know. Hold out for the right deal. Yeah, 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 we're trying to be like the pretty girl at the prom. Hold <laughs> out for the right, <laughs> the right guy, you know. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Well, and also I wanted to mention, you know, you've kind of grown up in the industry because obviously your dad is Gary Busey, which has got right. to be quite an interesting life, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I mean, that's probably helped you get started, like your first acting role and like things like that too. Yeah, I think I think having the name and and looking like him was was quite interesting and people were curious. They were, a lot of them were, uh, I didn't realize that he kept us fairly private from the public, you know? So a lot of... And that's not easy to do that. Yeah, I guess. I mean, this is before the internet when I was young, but uh, there was a lot of casting directors, a lot of producers that were of the mind of like, whoa, Jay, Gary's got a son? Oh, we got... Yeah, bring him in. Let's, let's see him. Let's check him out. So I knew I had to be good. So I really, really, really studied my butt off because I didn't want to go in there and, and and like not be able to live up to the name. And I'll never live up to him, but at least I didn't ever go in and like shit the bed, you know, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> embarrass the family uh, in that respect. But yeah, it's, um, I'm kind of a child of the circus who stayed in the circus, really. Um, well, did he like give you pointers and sort of help teach you his, yeah. his approach? Yeah, you know, he's had his his big one was hit your marks, find your lights, say your lines, and don't fuck up. <laughs> there it you go. totally sounds like something he would say. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's dad. Simple and direct, and no BS. So, and then every now and then you get these very interesting soliloquies about the energy of the universe and all this stuff but uh yeah he's always been a real spiritual guy so and he's also got these roots with the he grew up in oklahoma and he's got native american heritage so he's really been into the whole that's right you're part indian that's so crazy yeah, like, yeah. no one would ever think that looking at him no no the, the tan <laughs> it, no I, I certainly don't look like uh like what you'd imagine in a native american indian but um, we've, we, you know, my family, we did the, you know, did the genetic testing thing. Yeah. And as it turns out, the, all the people in, in my family go back to being in North America all the way back to 1616. 
Whoa. So when people say, what are you, like German or Swedish or like, what are you? It's like, wow, I'm American. I, You're like serious yeah. American there. Yeah. yeah. And, and like the wheel of all the different, like where you're from for me is just just a total blend. So I'm just as American as you get. I just, I'm blonde haired. And, and uh, Indian. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, we are running out of time, but I have one last question to ask you. No. What advice do you have for people that want to get into acting? Mm. Go to college, get your MBA, and become a producer. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's yeah. great. I would definitely suggest that. And then if you want to try acting, um, put yourself in one of your movies and find a role for yourself in one of your films. That's awesome. Yeah. It's cool because you get to be the one then that's actually creating a project, right? Yeah, and actors don't get paid anymore. Actors used to be rich and famous and now they're just famous. Like we don't, it, the generation that's now sort of in power, the millennials, they're, uh, they grew up with, with cameras and YouTube and being able to sort of do it yourself. It's a whole DIY world. Mm -hmm. So they don't really look at actors as being special or different or important because hey I can do it I can make my own little movie and put it on YouTube what's so special about that so now that we've got 25 year olds running movie studios when I book a job they're like well we're gonna give you a minimum wage and that's it because you're not worth any more than that because there's another guy that could do it because he grew up with an iPhone in his hand so times have really changed um, wow, really? So like you, the, the pay rates and everything is really noticeably different. Oh, I'm, like I said, I'm working two jobs. I just came off The Predator. I got a movie with Danny Trejo. I got Dead Ant. I did three seasons, three years on Dust Till Dawn, and I can't pay rent. So Whoa. it's, I wouldn't suggest being an actor. I would definitely suggest have a financial background, be a producer, make your own movies, and if you want to be in front of the camera, put yourself in front of the camera. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome advice. Yeah. And that's crazy. What a what a different world yeah. it is. It's not yeah, in the nineties you it was great. It was like, you know, you, you got paid for what you did, you did a couple movies a year and, and it was hard to get work and then you got paid enough to last until you could get to your next job. It's it's not that way anymore. It's uh it's really changing. Much like we don't use film anymore. We use digital cameras. Like it's, it's, so the whole landscape has changed. Um it's it's just a new it's a new ball game entirely. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have to get you some shirts with, with just Jake Busey. We'll be like, just look, get tons of merch, you know? <laughs> there we go. I get, just, <laughs> I just shirts is fine. <laughs> Clothing on the back is good at there this point. There you go, right? Yeah. Back end points. Okay. You get some eggs. That'd be great too. Some, some bread. <laughs> <laughs> wow. so thanks for having me yeah thank you so much for being on the show yeah. it's been awesome fantastic I love the red booth my face blends right in <laughs> <laughs> and everybody should definitely go and check out his new shows on Hulu and yeah, freakish. you know freakish yes. that's right and, and, Ray, and Donovan. Ray Donovan yeah. amazing yeah. super cool yeah. okay good well thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you next time